Have you ever wondered where engine oil actually goes after you pour it in? Let's follow its journey. First, the oil enters the engine through the filler cap and flows down into the oil pan. When the engine starts, the crankshaft drives the oil pump, which draws oil up through the pickup tube, pressurizes it, and sends it to the oil filter. The filter removes metal particles and impurities, allowing clean oil to flow into the main oil gallery. If the filter gets clogged, a bypass valve automatically opens to keep the lubrication flowing. Next, the oil travels throughout the engine, forming an ultra-thin film between bearings and moving parts to reduce friction and wear. Excess oil is flung onto the cylinder walls by centrifugal force, and the piston rings scrape off the extra, leaving just the right amount of lubrication. Oil also flows up to the valve train, lubricating the camshaft, rocker arms, and valves. It even sprays onto the timing chain to prevent overheating and wear. Finally, the oil returns to the oil pan, carrying away heat and contaminants, ready to begin the next cycle, keeping the engine running smooth and strong.